water, water comes from the sky. It's a free gift from God given to us and they want to take it from us. They have sold their country as it is and we are not prepared to take any more. We are standing up for a right. From the rivers to the sea, we want peace. Ashling from Ashburn, we're here today to protest against Irish water. We're going to fight the privatisation of this company. It's a quango. We're not going to feed the beast. Feet on the street today. We're fighting for the homeless. It's not just the water, the property taxes, the homeless. It's the lone parent's mother, you name it. I will not be paying the water charges up your end, end. You know, what human being wants to charge somebody, you know, for water based on how much they can pay for it, you know? It's like, just inhumane. Whoever agrees with that, there's something wrong with them. To tell the government that we have had enough of their neoliberal agenda in this country. We do not want any more starving people on our streets and we do not want to see one more homeless person being put on the streets and dragged out by the hair being evicted. We're here and we're staying here. You know, I'm here in solidarity with the people who refuse to pay the water charges. And I'm going to keep protesting and I won't pay my water charges. This is a campaign, this is a people power that's going to blow Irish water into the water and change Ireland back to a people's democracy, back to a republic. For the 100,000 families who are languishing on housing lists in every corporation and every county council in Ireland waiting for a house for the last 10 years and the way they're going at the moment, waiting for another 10 years, an absolute disgrace as well. Why? Because this government priority was to pay 85 million to Irish water consultants rather than build social housing for its people. I keep hearing people saying we can't take in refugees because we can't look after our own. We have to ask the question, who are our own? We've just looked after Shani Fitzpatrick. We continue to look after the bankers. We continue to look after the politicians who are overpaid. We have to start asking, who are our own? And I want to argue that our own are ordinary people everywhere in the planet, and they need our solidarity. You're definitely not going away. You've come out in your thousands again. To tell Andy Kenny and Joan Burton and Alan Kelly that Irish water, the fiasco that it is, must go. I'm 16 years of age and I know how crap the government are. My friends know how crap the government are. The only people who don't know how crap they are is themselves. As we're not here today to ask for any concessions, we're not here asking for anything. We have had enough. We are here to assert our human right to water and say that is it. Back off. Stay away from our water. You are getting no more. That's it. It's vital in this climate of inequality that we fight for our right to water, that we oppose these charges and that we fight for public ownership of our water. We will fight. We will fight. We will fight. Pennies from heaven! <laughs> Pennies from heaven!